Carpe diem. We have all heard the saying. We know what it means, but I'm here to talk about something a little bit different today, and that's carpe per diem interest. So what is per diem interest? You hear that around loans. You see it on your closing costs all the time. So what per diem interest is, is when you're paying your loan, you're not paying, if you paid, say, May 1st payment, you're not paying for May's mortgage payment. You're paying for April. So your mortgage is always paid in arrears. So because that, in the month that you close, you're not going to be in the home the month prior. So you pay the remaining interest in the days that are left in that month. Now, the trick to that is you don't have a payment the first of the following month because you weren't in the home the full month. So if I close on May 15th, I don't have a payment for June 1st because I wasn't in the home the whole month. So if I close on May 15th, my first payment isn't until July. If I close in June 1st, my first payment isn't until August. So they have that per diem interest to cover the remaining days in the month that are due. Now, most people will look at that and say, I want my closing costs as cheap as possible all the time. So make me close all the way at the end of the month because that's the way that I can save money as a lease per diem interest. So let's look at an example for that. If I closed, say, May 31st, my per diem interest, and this is based on a general $200,000 loan amount at a three and a quarter interest rate. So if I looked at that, that principal interest or that interest payment for that one day that I have, because I'm closing May 31st, so I just have to pay interest for that one day, it's only $18.56. My closing costs are going to be as low as they can be in that area. But my payment, because I close in May, I skip June, my first payment's due in July. I would pay the first, and this is just principal and interest, I would pay the first $870. In August, I would pay an additional $870 for a total payment of about $1,760. So let's play that forward a little bit. What if I, instead of closing May 31st, I close June 1st? Well, if I close June 1st, my first payment, instead of being due in, August, in July, is due in August. Now, my per diem interest, so my closing costs, are actually higher. You see, it went from $18 due at closing to $560. Oh no, I'm in a worse spot. Not actually. When you look at it and it says $18 for that month, but you look at in July, I don't have a July payment because I closed June 1st. So instead of having a July payment, now there's none because I closed one day later. I closed in June versus May. And then I have an August payment. So when you look at what that does at the end of the day with total payments of $1,430, it actually, whoa, it actually saves you $329 for closing one day later because of the per diem interest. So a lot of people will look at the per diem interest and say, I want it to be as low as possible to keep my closing costs low. But actually, if you close at the beginning of the month and you delay your mortgage payment an additional month, it actually could save you money. Now, I know there are people out there right now that are looking at me saying, but that July payment would have been uh, a little bit of reduction on your principal. And that's absolutely true. But if you're purely looking for less money out of pocket, that's the way to do it. Hope everybody is having a great day. Take care.